Hi everybody, uh, Richard Tromans here from Artificial Lawyer TV. Uh, today we're doing another product walkthrough. Uh, today the product is a knowledge management system called Cynthia. Uh, it's based out of the US and also Australia. And with us is Horace Wu, who is the founder and managing director of the company. Hi Horace. Hi Richard, nice to see you. Good to have you on the show. Um, as is now standard, let's get straight into the meat of it. If you could share your screen and give us sure. a quick walkthrough of what, what problems uh, is Cynthia solving and how it works. Sure. I'll share my screen, but I'll preface this with a 30 second uh, synopsis of, of what we're solving. Um, and what we're solving is this knowledge problem that lawyers are knowledge workers and the better access to knowledge they have, the better they're going to be able to work. Um, and when we looked at this problem, we discovered that for law firms, at least, most of that knowledge is trapped in either the heads of lawyers or in the document management system inside the law firm. And it's really hard to tap into both of these different sources. And so we've got a platform that um, does two things that we then build on. The first is it is uh, able to capture um, behavior, judgment, and the thoughts of people into machine learning models in three to five data points. And the second is it's able to look at really large legal documents and break them down into meaningful chunks like clauses, subclauses, and so on. And on top of these two kind of core backend mechanics, we then build all these front end applications that try and solve specific problems. And I'm going to show you two today. The first one is uh, what I've got on screen here it's our knowledge bank. And this one's designed for your knowledge managers, your librarians and lawyers trying to do research. Um, so it's designed to help you search for stuff. In this interface, you'll see my admin interface. So you have documents, you have clauses, you have concepts. Um, and what this tool essentially does is it's trying to do a couple of things. It's trying to be your precedent library it's trying to be your clause bank. And it's also trying to hook into the machine learning system so that it's able to tap into all those models that we call concepts inside of our system. Um, so the search interface is designed to help you do quite in-depth searches if you have the metadata, or if you don't have the metadata, just search based on uh, dates, based on um, meaning, based on the text that's contained in these different documents. So what I just did was I just, did a search for the most recently added documents. And here you can see stuff that I've pulled off the web. Um, and for a user, you can then go, of course, look at the metadata, you can add comments, you can talk to each other on this platform. You can go and vote on this and say, hey, this is a great contract, or this is not. Um, and where we dive a little bit further than some of the other vendors out there is we're able to say, for example, take this agreement and with one button, find you every agreement in our system that's similar to it. So I clicked on the lease and it's found you all these commercial leases and other lease agreements. Um, the other thing that we're able to do is we're able to say, take one of these documents and we're able to dive in and see its clauses. So it's able to autonomously extract all of the meaningful structure and break the document down to these chunks. Um, should I pause there? Should I keep going, Richard? No, let me just ask a question. So, so what, what would you be using this for inside a firm? So, I mean, this, is, this isn't a mass um, doc review tool. This is, mm -hmm. this, this is aimed at, at what purpose? I mean, this is for when you're in a contract negotiation and you're uh, building a new contract from scratch. I mean, what, what's the use case? Sure. So this application is what we call a building block application. It's designed for knowledge managers to take their documents, take their repository and, and make it useful. You're making Lego blocks out of a giant chunk in this application. We have other applications that do help you with doc review and that do help you with uh, say drafting documents on the fly. So let me show you the one that we use for doc review. And this actually shows off one of the other um, functions in our tool. Um, and it's the ability to, um, it's the ability to, train legal concepts from scratch really rapidly. So this interface is our due diligence interface. Um, and here, for example, we've got one blank concept that I'd set up prior to the demo. Um, and we've got some trained stuff. So salary, it's able to go and find a salary clause, um, non-compete termination, it's able to find a termination clause. And um, 
you'll see here for these concepts, they've only been trained on three training points. Our system is deployed privately with law firms. And so all of these different training points, all of these different um, uh, document data is retained by the law firm. Um, and so one, you've got quality control and two, um, that information, that precious data is kept by the law firm. It's kept private and used only by them. So let me show you this, a, a completely new black concept um, that we created here on the right-hand side, it's been trained on zero points. Um, so I might use this and I might scroll up to the document and look for say the non-solicitation and non-compete clause. So I'll drag it over this entire thing. And that blue text I just selected is your due diligence process. There's kind of two things happening at the same time here. One is text extraction and second is machine learning training. So we can train our machine on the fly. And when I say add and done, that text is extracted into a report and our machine now knows when it sees a new document and looks for that blank concept, it's going to try and find the text that looks most like um, the non-compete. And in this second agreement, it's found conflicting obligation, which is sort of like a non-compete, but we actually want the non-solicitation clause, which is the third on the suggested list. So on the second data point, we can then add it and it will then again, learn this on the fly. So it's always improving the model. You can switch that off in production if you want. So you can just use the stuff that your partners have trained as your kind of gold standard. So it doesn't keep learning. But for this purpose, I'm just showing how it can keep learning and learn really rapidly. Um, and the blank concept here, if I go to the third document after two training points, it's found post-employment activities, even though it doesn't use the same words as the previous uh, examples. So this is kind of the speed of training these models, which then can be imported into these, this library um, and then reused across multiple applications that are then built on this platform system. Gotcha. Just one quick question. What's the yeah. language model? Uh, I mean, what, what are you, what's the base layer behind this? Well, what, what are you using? Yeah, so it's our, um, we have a German NLP partner that work with us. And basically what we can do is we can deploy a standard um, uh, English model or we can train up a model in any language. So a couple of weeks ago, we trained up a Polish model in the course of a week. Um, so it is entirely flexible and depending on what the firm wants to do and what jurisdictions they operate in. Um, if it's not English, we can train up a new model in about a week's time. But the but the NLP that you're using this, this is a third party software, um, or, or this is this is something you've built from scratch yourself. It's something we and our German partners have built from scratch. Um, so there's actually multiple NLP uh, engines behind this, and they serve different purposes. Well, look, I mean, um, I think that's very interesting. Um, I guess the, the one last point was the the concept. Uh, yes. Um, aspect. Let's let's have a quick look at that, and then we'll we'll bring it to an end. Sure. So concepts is what we call machine learning models. We we find the the language of a concept is just slightly easier for lawyers to grasp. Essentially, as you know, Richard, um, when you have text on the page, a computer can't really do very much with that. You have to convert that into some mathematical model first. And so for us, we're saying that concepts is kind of a human representation of what those machine learning mathematical models are. Um, and it's, it's a neat way of saying, when you see texts that have this sort of meaning, this is the corresponding tag or label. That is your concept. Gotcha. And so we've, yeah, we've made it so that it's reusable across our multiple applications. So for example, what I just did was training the, um, the non-compete or the non-solicitation, I can import that, which then imports um, the model as well as the text into your library, which is then available for other downstream workflows like analysis, um, drafting, um, population analysis, and so on. Gotcha. Fantastic. Thank you. Um, just last couple of questions. So the, the law firms who are sort of using it or piloting it, mm. uh, just very generally, what are the use cases they're using it for? Yeah, so the, the kind of key use cases we've been exploring with law firms so far probably fall into three buckets. Um, the first is due diligence, um, where they have um, quite specialized um, expertise in certain areas. And, and so 
using an off-the-shelf software that's been pre-trained doesn't really work for them because it hasn't been pre-trained on what they're trying to look for. So this sort of really flexible rapid training is, is attractive to them. The second use case that some law firms have been talking to us about is a sort of a, a, a kind of in-depth knowledge bank. It's, it's a way to go deeper than just a whole document and being able to extract out clauses, create a clause bank, and then use that clause bank in um, their own workflow. So it could be analysis, could be kind of looking at the variety of order clauses that are out there and therefore, um, you know, being able to form a view of what's market. And the third use case is um, a sort of drafting assistant. Um, where we have a word add-in which allows you to tap into the knowledge bank and the concepts that we've created to then make recommendations to say, hey, this is how you draft this particular idea better based on what we've seen. Got you. Well, so it's a, it's a kind of, so it's a, it's a doc review sort of transactional tool. It's a KM tool and it's also a drafting tool. So it's, yes. a, it's, a, it's quite a package. Mm -hmm. um, well, fascinating. Well, look, thank you very much. And, uh, you know, I'm sure we'll, uh, we'll be seeing more of you soon. Thank you, Richard. It's uh, fantastic to be on. Thank you for having me. Oh, my pleasure.